Hello everybody, welcome back to downtown Munich. We're here in the heart of the city, right on the edge of the Hofgarten, which is over there. Right behind that is the state chancellery, so you can have a look. Now we can see it. Back, right there. The dome, that's the state chancellery of Bavaria. And from here, I will make my way now to the Odeonsplatz, which is right around the corner. And it's a beautiful area here. So, let's have a look. Of course, what pops first is the nice flower setup here beside this beautiful old building. In fact, I can't tell you what that is. I have no idea what this building is. I will have a look, step by shot. Okay, this is the rear facade of the residency of Munich. So for the Dukes of Bavaria, they, of course they had a castle in the west, Nymphenburg. You might have seen one of my videos on the Nymphenburg area. If not, you will find it right up in the corner. This was the main seat of the Dukes of Bavaria. But the, when they were in the city, they stayed here, right in this building. Beautiful flower set up again. I like that. So we're lucky it's now October and the flowers are still set up. Beautiful. To the right here, this is the Hofgarten. I've done already a video on uh, the Hofgarten. Have a look up in the corner. Link to the video. Right here, another beautiful flower set up. And you can already see in the background the church, the yellow one, with the dome tower and the two regular towers. This is the Theatinerkirche the landmark at the Odeonsplatz, which is right in front of me, if you pass through, through this arcade way. But before we do so, another flower set up here. And here a nice view to the re rear facade of the residence, which is also quite a large building. And it's a nice one. I love these sandstone colors. Looks just beautiful. Maybe that's why I love so much staying at the Four Seasons Hotel here in Munich for one night. Because the building is also in these sandstone colors and they are very, very beautiful. But now, Let's have a little small look at these arcades and then slip through to have a look, a closer look at the Odeonsplatz. Through this gate he has to go. No, he doesn't have to, but he can. He will not do it because of the traffic. But here in this arcades, just have a look at this painting, and there are more of them all through the arcades. That's quite nice. Nice here too. There's always some guys making music. Of course, they're looking for money. They will not get it today from me. But here we are at the Odeonsplatz. Another nice flower set up here. And the street that goes to the north here is Ludwigstraße, which will later on turn into Leopoldstraße. And is the way to the borough of Schwabing. Passing by on the way to the north, you will come by the Munich University. 
and some noble shopping is there too, especially here in this area and down this street, which is the Brienna Straße, one of the most expensive, most noble streets in Munich. But we are here for this today. The Theatina Kirche, one of the most beautiful in the whole city of Munich. The facade and the shiny yellow. Yeah, they have to clean it every three, four years. So a regular pattern. But that's definitely worth doing so because it's so nice. I love this color. And this place is called the Feldherrnhalle. Remembrance place to uh, former generals of the Bavarian army and to uh, battles fought by the Bavarian army. As Bavaria was an independent nation with a king for many, many years. Now we're not anymore. But yeah, they had their own army, they fought their own battles. And this is a place of remembrance for these times. Feldherrnhalle. And here, of course, next is the Theatinerkirche. I love these colors. It's just beautiful. As always here, there are two ways to go to Marienplatz. One is here, the other one is over there. I will pick one and then go home. So, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you soon, back in Munich. Have a good time. Goodbye.